Now, there has been lots of debate about exactly what killed the dinosaurs. But since the 1980s, scientists have believed the main culprit was an asteroid. From the far reaches of the solar system. The size of Mount Everest. And on a collision course, with Earth. An extraordinary claim requires some extraordinary evidence. And let's be clear, claiming that a six mile wide asteroid crashed into the planet, unleashing the power of a billion nuclear weapons is an extraordinary claim. So where is the evidence? Where is the smoking gun? Well, I'm sat in it. This is called a cenote. It's a word that comes from one of the Mayan languages. It literally means hole in the ground filled with water. Now, take a look at this map of this part of Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula. And when I superimpose the cenotes, you see there's an enormous number of them. The landscape is completely freckled. But then look again in more detail. You see this here? There's an arc of these geological features running across here. And if we complete the arc, turning it into a circle, it has a diameter of 110 miles, which corresponds perfectly with the inner rim of the crater made when the asteroid struck our planet. Now, the cenotes weren't formed at the time. Over millions of years, that impact seems to have weakened the rock here. Water has leached through it, forming cave systems which have collapsed in some places, giving us this ring of cenotes. A devastating remnant of the asteroid strike. that brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a crashing end. annihilates everything within its reach. Earthquakes and tsunami tear across the planet. And then it begins to rain. Not water, but scorching hot rock. made from the asteroid and the bedrock it had struck. <laughs> 